Hi everyone, if you're wondering why I sound like Morgan Freeman, well that's because I'm having a cold, but don't worry, I'll be fine. Well, this day, oh, <clears throat> I will stop that. Today I'd like to show you how I polish this satellite dish into a parabolic mirror. Before I polished the mirror, I tried some other things to make it into a reflector, but those failed, so I will show you those too. So if you want to fail, you know how to. Okay, I started by degreasing the whole surface with thinner. And then I applied a thin coat of my special hot glue paint. Once applied, I let it dry for two days. I earlier made a video of how to make this glue paint, so I will put a link in the description. I'm using an emergency blanket as the reflector surface. Then I poured on some hot water to slightly melt the hot glue layer so I could rub the foil onto the satellite dish. You can see here that the result is quite wrinkly and bubbly, so I used a hot air gun to make it a little bit more smooth, which kinda worked, but I still didn't find it a very nice result. Then I smoothened out the edges and you can see that it has kind of mirror-like properties but I didn't find this result very satisfying. So I took it all off and now I applied a new piece of foil and only attached it at the sides just by using a piece of baking paper and my flattening iron to just slightly melt the hot glue. Then I firmly attach the sides in the same manner. So when I then sucked out some air, it became a pretty good parabolic mirror. But because of little leaks it's hard to keep a constant focal point. And you can see here that although the foil seems very reflective, it lets through quite an amount of sunlight. And you can even see an outline of the trees. And the foil soles are quite weak, which doesn't make it any easier. So then I decided to polish the whole dish. And to remove the layer of paint I used the heat gun. Because sanding off the paint scratches the aluminum surface too much. So then it would be very hard to get a nicely polished surface. I used a plastic spatula to scrape off the paint so it wouldn't make any scratches.
So I started sanding with 600 grit waterproof sanding paper. Don't start with a grit that's too rough, because you will later have more work removing the scratches. Then I used 1000 grit sandpaper to further smoothen the surface. And finally 1200 grit. So then I tried polishing it by hand, which went pretty well. It cost me a lot of elbow grease. I used copper polish, because it also works very well on aluminum. So then I used this polishing disc for my angle grinder. And to regulate the speed I used the high power dimmer I made earlier. It polished it pretty well, but you can still see a lot of markings. So I then attached a piece of cloth to the disc with a tie rip, to see if that would make it a little bit more smooth. It helped a little, but the final polish still had to be done by hand. It was a pretty okay result here, but I still wasn't satisfied, so I used a very fine piece of scotch pad to remove some rough spots. Then I gave it a final polish. And this is the result. It's not perfect, but it makes a pretty hot spot. And if it burns wood, then it will make steam. I've painted the back of the dish black for two reasons. The first is because it looks nice. And the second, because it might radiate off some heat. And because there's no such thing as a perfect reflector, some of the radiation will be absorbed by the dish and therefore the dish will heat up. But this might as well be theoretical nonsense. But in any case, it's a good story, so...
And because it's winter, the sun is very low, so you can imagine how much power it will have in the summer. I'm going to use the dish to heat up this aluminum block through which I will vaporize water so it can instantaneously be converted into steam and power my steam engine. At least that's the idea, so we'll see. But that's what I will show you in the next episode. Okay, that's it everyone. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram and see you next time. Hopefully I will sound a bit better.